What's going on dudes? It's your dude JB Dude and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 3 in Harm's Way. Picking up where we left off. We just completed the second episode of House Divided. Lot lot of ups and downs in that episode. Not gonna lie, a lot of them ha happened here. But we're gonna jump straight into episode three and we'll let the na narrator explain what happened in the previous episode. As I like to call it. Picking up where we left off, now it is addition. Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Oh! Go to hell, you fuck. <laughs> We're going home. As a family. And this is where we pick up on, as we have been captured by, by the motherfucking Carver he is. Oh, that's a nice butterfly. I think it looks like Clementine might have escaped, maybe. Yeah, you I think we- done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you, too. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Bessie. Ah, fuck. It looks like we're still captured. Everything come out all right, girls? You Troy, even have to fucking ask. Up. We'll do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Oh, froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? And what happened to it? Because you can't have this one. That's none of your business. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> no, stop! You fucker! You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Fuck you. Leave you don't deserve alone. to know. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. Why are you fucking helping me, you traitor? In. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! The Walking Dead. What a fucking way to open up this episode. Episode 3, In Harm's Way. This is how, how we saw the episode. In a truck, captured by Carver and his gang. And everyone in this group is definitely not happy with it. Man. All 
right, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? Um. We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what uh, is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp. Anything that can help. A, a fucking. I don't know. Anything. Ah. Uh, We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, what, what the fuck? Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say Kenny. That again. I'd stay out of this boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, oh, right. You're a man. You exactly. Understand. He's different. He's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. He's I'm got a point. Help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin? That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny. Yeah, it's bullshit. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Stop fighting! Please. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know- That's that. not true. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. Luke will help us. Oh yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? No. Obviously not. Hey, look. Clem. Close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. I love that shut son up, of a bitch this saying. Your call. <laughs> shut up, just, Doc. If something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing. <laughs> but any help would be good. That's a good one, Kenny. Hey, Clem. Have you look, got it? You have you gotten that idea from Bugs Bunny a bit Kenny, when you said please, that? Just just listen to them. Yeah, okay. I trust you. I'll, I'll do what I can. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. Right. All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Oh, shit! Kenny! Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're okay, guys. I think. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him. Uh, fine. Whatever. Fuck! How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Well, speaking of familiar faces, I, I think that that lady on the left, she's familiar too. When they left us, as they did. I think I've got an idea. So and I know Bonnie. Look how much food they have. 
Oh, I hope you ain't saying uh. what I think you're saying. No. Many of you already know a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. And then wait until morning. We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. Well, why is Kava going up in it? I, I can't. He's. He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project will move forward. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can save you from messing with it. Just to survive, it's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. He has the name Bunny. She's bright that. That's a um, girl from the. Uh, Walking Dead Season 1 Special Episode 400 Days. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> Reggie? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should. Reggie helped us you, but... when we ran away. No, I feel the same way. What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. Huh. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. Yikes. I'm so sorry. He must have Look, been bent. It was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Ridge. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. This is... Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Jeez, that's his name, Troy? What a dickhead. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Hello, who are you? This freaks you out. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Yeah, no. Usual handshake. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Hmm. He was disemboweled. Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop Jesus. with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group. Who's so that bitch? I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that. But I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? A girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. 
We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. We don't trust Look, I've him. I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. It feels more like a prison. Well, that is a very negative attitude. She's right, Reggie. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. No way. Fucking A no way. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the mm. fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Bullshit. I don't want a second chance. After what he did to Alvin, I want him dead. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Get this water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Bullshit. And fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts strange. Yeah, I guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. I have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. All right then. Let's see what we Walker we can find around here. You, huh? yep, I was, uh, let's just take let's just take a look at the shutter first and see what we've got here. I saw its shadow. It moved in front of one of our Reminds me of the jewelry store. The jewelry store? I don't remember that. <laughs> hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? I'm just checking for things. I'm not doing anything. I'm just checking. Let's see. Let's... A hose reel. <laughs> I saw a fella try that a few months ago. Just ended up bleeding out. Ended up bleeding. Anyway. Yeah, like I said, it felt ah, like there's a rope. Done it before. Did a tourniquet on me real quick. That could be, be a good escape. Maybe that ladder too. Hmm. Bobbed wire. Looks like there's no way. Ouch. Looks like there's no way getting over the fence at this rate. Uh hey. So how did you end let's up have, with a name like Rich? Let's have a look at the fence. Hey. See if we can do anything. No, it's okay. <laughs> On my first day in the US, I stopped and got Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey. to What the hell is she doing? No, uh nothing. <laughs> you know kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know. You, you. shut your fucking mouth. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's How fine. dare you! I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. That doesn't that doesn't that doesn't mean he needs to be racist about it. <laughs> Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. Do I have a choice? Of course. Really? Nah, not really. <laughs> That's this. what I thought. I That's what I thought. We'll need it. All right then. I'm just like, do I have a choice? And he's like, yeah. And then I'm like, really? 
and then he's like, nah, not really. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good joke. But yeah, we definitely gotta get out of here some somehow. Oh fuck you! What? Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. Ah, oh, fuck off! Pointing the gun at me. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness. By proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? Let Reggie be an example to I'm you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it must be earned. That. Kenneth Shut will be up. taking over Reggie's we duties don't have outside to be the walls. Rude about it. Michael will continue on showing I just his value. It's nice to finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. Ah, oh, shit. Propose that one I... good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Ah, oh, shit. On, we'll wait. Wait. This is not good. I'm not sure with my hand that I could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby pammy thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. No, please don't. She won't do it again. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. You can fuck off then. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Man. What the fuck? I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. This is hard to watch. Do it. Oh shit! I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn! You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone, get to work. Those guys are gonna get it. They're working in the armory. Right. Follow me. Don't worry. Right. God damn this thing! Oh shit! Clementine. Who is this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and Sarah? I, I wish hey, Shell and Becca. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. From 400 Days Go Special. Bonnie's waiting. There's Bonnie. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. 
for loading right. magazines. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. Well, the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. Well, I mean, I, I could understand I her betraying us. Him, I could control it. But it seems like Cobble was more, more worse at a bigger target than her. Went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. You, you mean the prison? prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I... Probably. I don't know. I've never been to prison. <laughs> no don't shit. Tell no one. Trying to keep a tough reputation. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, th I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. Why didn't you leave, I mean? If I'm yeah. being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take the situation with the herd. That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe Definitely. if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter and Alvin. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Alvin killed George when he escaped. He might not have meant to, but George died all the same. Ain't no saints Wait. in all this. Who was George? Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl I down so there? Too. I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Just had a bit of interruption there. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. What is it? A jacket? For me? Huh? What do you think? Uh. Um, found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scam. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. I, I don't know. know. Oh, you don't like it. it it's not that. It's, I no. thought it was kind of cute. Well, this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there Maybe. you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Pavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. All right. <sighs> Whatever. Don't really mind a jacket, anyways. Probably makes sense wearing a jacket if it's cold at night. Follow me. Come on. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. It's like a greenhouse. 
Oh, there's Sarah. Ah, oh, she's a bit hey. shaken from that slap. Are you okay? I know it's it's got to be hard. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess Pretty much. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Well, ah, oh, it's Reggie. Mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad. But please, please just listen to me today. I'm on like the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. Okay. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Got it. Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, mm -hmm. good. Cause I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. Okay. <laughs> Did you just pet on my head? Was awkward? Yeah, it was. Again? <laughs> I'm gonna go work now. <laughs> and he's funny sometimes. So it's that easy, huh? Man, she's... She doesn't seem okay. I think it's best to help Sarah. Hey. Here, watch me. This isn't there you that go, hard, Sarah. Sarah. I know, I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Definitely. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, not that fucker. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. Oh, shit. Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We just... Time's up, Reggie. You had a task, and you didn't get it done. Looks to me like you failed. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. Kind of is. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. This doesn't sound good. Seems to me he's probably gonna kill him. Thanks for probably the help, seven. Guys. Sorry. Well, that's where you were
What's wrong, Sarah? You alright, Sarah? Sarah? Are you okay? Oh shit. I gave you plenty of chances. No! 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 Oh god. And dead. He's dead. Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! He's gonna get it. The time we make him mo move, he's dead. Immediately. He's fucking dead. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. Okay. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. Mm. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. It was no accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. It's Reggie. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Cables? Jeez, them walkers are gonna get through. I have a feeling. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tell on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Stop fighting! I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps I just want to get the work done, and... Ah oh, shit, walkers are coming in. Alright, time for some action. Hit him in the head. It's not doing anything. Gotta go. Okay. To the left. Okay. Alright, hold left. Hold left on the left, see. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. X, 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 Square. There we go. Ah, right in the head. Ah, shit. More of them. Ah. The golden hammer. It's hammer time. Well, that didn't do much. Down. Oh god, she tripped on the cable. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to pick up. One, X, 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 triangle. That's not good. Okay, we're good. Get up. Get out of there, come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God, you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! 
Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Man. They're gonna barge in. They're gonna barge in. Whoa! Oh, jeez! X, 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 Wait! Ah, ah, stop! Hey, it's me! Luke! Luke? Yes! Oh man, you made it! Get the hell out of me! Look at your blood! Come all this way. This is, this is the welcome I get. Ah, thank God you're okay. I was worried. We all were. Now it's good to see you too, kid. Alright, listen. We ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards. Watching everything. Shh, yep. shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking oh, for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. They plugged up all the holes we used when we got out. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes. Sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know? Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any, any moment. But yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. All right. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just, we just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. There has to be some way. Luke! Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, They're Jimmy coming. I ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We got a plan. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, uh, hey. you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't... Just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Oh, shit. Come on, get out of here. Okay. We got a plan. The hell were you doing? Huh? Uh... Answer me. I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Oh, sorry. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Hey, got it. Jeez, that was close. Jeez. Could have been ruined the plan. Hey, is that Wyatt? I just spotted. Yeah, it's Wyatt. Dude, also you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. I know he doesn't. So you should probably go. That guy's funny though when I played as him in the special episode. It was so hilarious. Rebecca. Rebecca? She's not feeling She's too good. She's a strong woman. Surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. All right. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. 
And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. Yeah, it's but... It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm I wouldn't not say it. like you. And I don't think I will be. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. Alright, now. Bill? You're gonna okay. fucking get it, Bill. Yeah? I'm here. Loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Supper time? I don't even know what that fucking means. But Bill is right about Troy. He's a fucking idiot. Man, if there was some way we we would somehow manage to get those radios. Cause that's what we need. I'll know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. A friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need That's something right. really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. That could Fishing possibly work. outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw him when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. He's right. I saw them too. Really? Yep. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny, why Hold up. can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Exactly. Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio, he keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? 
Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. Yep. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. Huh? First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazy. Oh yeah, that could work. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. I've done it too. What? Mm -hmm. It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Okay, then. Where the hell did she come from? <laughs> Been there all the time. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Well... Uh, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. It's now or no, never. never. I guess. Ask my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Let's do it. Don't let go. I got you. I'm gonna pause it here, guys, because I'm out of time. Um, hopefully, um, what's the guy's name? Mike will be able to keep Clement time for for another week. <laughs> if the, if this was in real life. Like, that would be funny. Um, but that is the time time for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to help this channel grow. If you guys like these videos, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys have no suggestion, make sure you leave a comment down below. Next episode, we're going to continue on getting ourselves out of this prison that Bill Carver, um, that's his full name. Um, see if we can get away from. Hopefully, we can use the walker as uh, a distraction to get ourselves out of here. Hopefully, our plan works uh, next part. And hopefully we'll get out safely. But until then, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Hang on, Mike. Just another week to go. <laughs>